In this video, I'll show you how to set up a keyboard shortcut to switch between Illustrator and After Effects and vice versa. Recently, one of my favorite tools for After Effects and Illustrator got updated. In the new version of Overlord, Overlord 2, there's no longer a button to switch from After Effects to Illustrator or vice versa. I use this button all the time, and I know that it's not that difficult to just click the app icon in the dock to switch between apps, but it had become a habit to click the switch button in Overlord since my mouse was already close by. The good news is that I came up with a solution that might be even faster. You don't need to have Overlord for this to work. I'm sorry to all Windows users, but this tutorial is specific to Macs. First, open up Automator. You can find this in your applications or use Spotlight. From here, choose Quick Action. Let's start with the keyboard shortcut that switches from After Effects to Illustrator. So for any application, I'm going to go in and change this. So I'll go to Other and then choose After Effects. And then under Workflow Receives Current, I'm going to change this to No Input. Then I'm going to search here for Run Apple Script, and I'll just drag that into this area. I'm going to delete all of this placeholder text and type in Tell Application, and then in quotes, Adobe Illustrator to activate. Double check that all your capitalization and spelling is correct, and if you want to test it, you can hit Run here. Now let's save this. I'm going to name this Switch to Illustrator and hit Save. Next, go into System Preferences and go down to Keyboard. Your system preferences might look different than mine depending on what version of macOS you're on. I'm on Sonoma. Then hit the Keyboard Shortcuts button. And then under Services, this could also be called Quick Actions. And then under General, you should see Switch to Illustrator. And then just click here to type in your keyboard shortcut. I'm going to do Control A. Make sure that whatever keyboard shortcut you choose is not something that's already assigned in Illustrator. Because if you choose a keyboard shortcut that already has something assigned to it, that keyboard shortcut that Illustrator assigned to it is going to be the one that happens. So this just won't work. So make sure you choose something unique. I found that Control A works. And then just hit Done. Now from After Effects, I can hit Control A and it will switch to Illustrator. To set up the keyboard shortcut to go from Illustrator to After Effects, we're going to repeat the same steps. So in Automator, go to File, New, Quick Action. I'm going to change any application to Adobe Illustrator. Workflow Receives is going to be No Input. And then I'm going to search for Run Apple Script, drag that in. And then tell application in quotes, Adobe After Effects to activate. And then I need to save this. I'm calling it switch to After Effects. And then in system settings, I'm going to go to keyboard shortcuts, then to services, then under general, I'm going to say switch to After Effects is going to have the same keyboard shortcut, control A as switch to Illustrator. I find it's easier to just have the same keyboard shortcut, do both of these things, and then just hit done. Now, if I'm an Illustrator, I can hit Control-A to go to After Effects, or if I'm in After Effects, I can hit Control-A to go to Illustrator. This should just start working automatically, but if it doesn't work at first, try closing out of After Effects and Illustrator, then reopen them and try it again. And that's it. I hope this helps you save a second here and there, because all those seconds add up. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy animating.